Have you ever wondered why hair loss occurs? It's a question that has puzzled humanity for ages, and the answer is more complex than you might think. Hair loss, also known as alopecia, is a phenomenon that affects millions of people worldwide, impacting both their physical appearance and psychological well-being. It's a topic that's not only significant due to its prevalence, but also due to the intricate biological processes behind it. In this video, we're going to unmask the enigma that is hair loss. We'll explore the science behind why it happens, delve into the different types of hair loss, and even touch on the role that genetics play in this widespread condition. Moreover, we'll also discuss practical ways to prevent and recover from hair loss. So, if you've ever found yourself scratching your head over why your hair seems to be thinning or shedding, you're in the right place. Stay tuned as we delve into the causes of hair loss. To understand why hair loss occurs, we first need to understand how hair growth works. Hair growth isn't a continuous process, but rather, it goes through three distinct phases. The first phase is the anagen phase, or the growth stage. This is when the hair follicle actively produces hair, then comes the catagen phase, a transitional stage when the hair follicle renews itself. Lastly, the hair enters the telogen phase, a resting stage when no new hair is produced and the existing hair falls out. The duration of these stages can vary depending on factors such as the type and location of the hair. For instance, the hair on our eyebrows, eyelashes and underarms have a shorter growth stage compared to the hairs on our scalp. Moreover, Hormones like testosterone and DHT can influence hair growth, and our genetic makeup determines how our hair follicles respond to these hormones. Now that we understand how hair grows, let's explore why hair loss occurs. Hair loss, technically known as alopecia, can occur for a variety of reasons. One of the most common types is androgenetic alopecia, which is linked to the action of testosterone on hair follicles. This genetic response can lead to male pattern or female pattern alopecia, appearing differently in each gender. Males often experience hair loss in the frontotemporal areas progressing to vertex, while females typically see a widening of the central part, akin to a Christmas tree pattern. Another type of hair loss is telogen effluvium, which is a uniform decrease in hair density as hairs transition from the growth stage to the resting stage. This can be precipitated by several factors like malnutrition, iron deficiency, thyroid dysfunction, postpartum or miscarriage, scalp diseases, certain medications, and physical or mental stress. The hair loss usually occurs two to four months after exposure to the precipitant. On the other hand, anagen effluvium is hair loss due to an insult to the hair follicle impairing its growth stage. This is often caused by chemotherapeutic agents, other medications, or exposure to certain chemicals. There are also physical causes of hair loss, such as trichotillomania, an impulse control disorder characterized by compulsive hair pulling. Trauma to the hair follicle from tight hairstyles like cornrow braiding, tight ponytails or turbans can also lead to hair loss. Autoimmune disorders like alopecia areata, endocrine issues like hypothyroidism, micronutrient deficiencies particularly in iron and zinc, and exposure to toxins such as heavy metals or anticoagulants can all contribute to hair loss. Even severe illnesses and childbirth can send hair follicles out of the growth stage and into the resting stage, leading to hair loss. While hair loss can be distressing, there are ways to prevent it and promote hair regrowth. Stay tuned as we delve into the management and prevention of hair loss in the next segment. Preventing hair loss and promoting hair regrowth involves addressing its underlying causes. A primary step is to maintain a healthy diet and lifestyle. Consuming a balanced diet rich in essential nutrients, particularly iron and zinc, can promote hair health and growth. Avoiding toxins like heavy metals and certain medications when possible can also help prevent hair loss. Another significant factor is stress management. Stress can trigger conditions like telogen effluvium, where hair prematurely enters the resting phase and falls out. Implementing stress management techniques such as regular exercise, mindfulness practices, or seeking professional help can be beneficial. Harmful hair practices can also contribute to hair loss. Activities that cause trauma to the hair follicle, like compulsive hair pulling or tightly braiding hair, can lead to hair loss over time. Therefore, it's essential to handle your hair gently, 
avoid tight hairstyles, and seek help if you struggle with impulse control disorders related to hair pulling. For those with underlying health conditions contributing to hair loss, like hypothyroidism or hormonal imbalances, seeking appropriate medical treatment is crucial. Medications like minoxidil or finasteride can be effective in slowing hair loss and promoting hair regrowth. Minoxidil, for instance, is a topical treatment that can reduce the rate of hair loss and even lead to partial restoration. Finasteride, on the other hand, is a medication that inhibits the action of a certain enzyme on testosterone, thereby preventing hair loss. For individuals with extensive hair loss, procedures like hair transplants can be considered. This involves moving hair follicles from areas of the scalp with more hair to areas with less or no hair. Remember, while hair loss can be distressing, it's often treatable or manageable. By understanding and addressing the causes of hair loss, it's possible to prevent it and promote hair regrowth. In this video, we've explored why hair loss occurs and how to prevent it and promote hair regrowth. We've learned that hair grows in a cyclic pattern and that factors like hormones, nutrient deficiencies and certain physical and mental stresses can disrupt this cycle and lead to hair loss. We've also discovered that understanding the causes of hair loss can empower us to prevent it and promote recovery. From using products like minoxidil or finasteride to lifestyle changes like avoiding hairstyles that cause trauma to the hair follicle, there are numerous ways to slow down hair loss and promote hair growth. Knowledge is power and in the case of hair loss, it's the power to take charge of your hair health. So let's put our newfound knowledge to good use and make hair loss a thing of the past. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more informative and engaging content. Stay tuned for our next video.